Good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for coming for this talk. And uh, this is Jose. He's going to, to be talking about building REST, a REST API with Django REST framework. Please take it away. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. <coughs> Before, let me present myself. Uh, as, as you say, I'm Jose Mashava. And you can find on all the social media using this handle. You can find me on Twitter, GitHub, or other social media. Uh, currently, I am a computer science at University of St. Thomas in Mozambique. I'm doing my last year. And I am also a full stack software developer. I am a part time software, full stack software developer. I've been a full stack software developer for the past three years. And during that time, uh, I had the pleasure uh, to work with some great companies. I had the, the pleasure to visualize, design, and implement application, mobile applications for Barclays Mozambique. And also, I have the pleasure to uh, build a USSD application and a web, web application using Django for uh, by port finance in Mozambique. And during that time, I was the, the single developer. So I needed to find a framework that it will allow me to build and ship as fast as possible a web application that can meet the deadline of our our clients. And in, during that time, I knew Python and Django was the best alternative for me. And besides that, at my university, I, running, I run a pro program called Cultiva, where during the week I teach my fellow colleagues how to build a web application using Django. Uh, this pro I have been doing for the past two years. And uh, we are uh, in the first month. I have teach uh, introduction to Python. Then I have teach web technology such as HTML, CSS, JavaScript. Then we saw SQL, and then after that, now we are doing Django. After that, our plan is to start to implement like. After we acquiring the, after the student acquiring this, the skill, our plan is try to solve different problems in Mozambique using web technology. Uh, now we are in the process of with the partnership of with Oxford, where we are gonna like implement, where we gonna provide solution for different ONGs using web technology. Uh, currently, I am a part-time software developer. Uh, I work remotely now uh, at 93 Iteration. Uh, there we, we do web, web applications using Django also. <coughs> and we are building an application called Markets. Uh, 93 Iteration is a, is a startup based in Mozambique, uh, Maputo, the capital of Mozambique. So I will. Sh uh, during that, 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 that time, I was building different applications to connect with uh, the mobile client. Also, we need to, also, when we have to need to check if some query exists in our database, we use, uh, we use uh, REST, REST API for do that. So, the basically, uh, the basically design of the a API is basically that. We have our database here. We have the API, uh, API there. The API talk to the client uh, and vice versa. Uh, in this talk, I will demonstrate how to build an API for a blog application. So before you begin uh, to start your application, you should have like Python on your machine. You should have installed Python on your machine. I get that. Uh, we are Pashtunista, everyone has Python on machine. And <coughs> after that, what you have to do, you have to install P uh, the virtual environment. 
Uh, you have to install the virtual environment on your machine where we're going to install all the necessary packages that we need to build these web servers. Uh, after that, what do you have to do? Uh, you have to initialize your virtual uh, environment. Why you, why you have to do this? Because you don't want to mix your, uh, your different packages with the package that you're going to use for this project. For them, in this project, we're going to just use the Django REST, refer, Django REST framework. So we don't, have mess, we don't, have, we don't want to take that package to the main, the main repository. Uh, before that, we are going to use Django for pulling this application. Before that, you have to install Django. Uh, before you, in, you, initialize, you initialize your virtual environment, uh, then after that, you install Django in your machine. You have Django there. After you have you installed Django in, in your machine, what you have to do is to start your project. This is the command that you use in Django to start your project. Yeah, Django admin start a project. I w I'm creating a project called Jose Mashava. As you can see, inside of that project, I want to inside of that project, we can have different ap applications that handle different things. For example, now we had we are creating an application for blog. For example, I am a developer. I am building my website. I want to create. I want to create. Uh, inside of that application, I want to create. Uh, a, a app called Blog where I can write and share my thing about technology with other developers around the world. <laughs> After that, uh, to build this REST FBI, we should, we have, this is the requirement, you have to install the Django REST framework in your machine. After you finish uh, it's the installation of the Django REST framework, uh, you can you can use this command. Peep, but if you don't know, peep is a package uh, manager for Django. Uh, as NPM, we have peep. In the JavaScript world, they have NPM. Here in Python, we have peep to install different package manager. Uh, you see, I uh, use peep in list. Uh, because we are in, in the side of my environment here, you can see all the packages that I, am, I have in this project. Uh, after list to ch after list, if we have the necessary package to build this REST API, what they did was creating the the micro application inside the the general web application. Uh, I used Django startup, and I create the block there. We have the block. Uh, in your settings, that py in your main project in your main project you have to include the application that you have created and the package that you're going to use also so we're going to use the rest of framework i've included here the rest framework uh, and also i include the the, uh, the application that i've created that is the blog uh, the jungle the Django, uh, the Django web framework, the, the Django provides for us uh, an abstraction layer so that we can create our database using, using the Python syntax. This, inside of, inside, we have uh, inside of block, inside of block uh, models, I have created this. This is the structure. This is the, tr the structure of the blog. We have, uh, uh, we have the, the basic model there, this is the post. Inside the post, we have the title, we have the image, where are field, and we have the content, and we also have category. The, uh, we use a foreign key for, for different characters. This is the most important part of your project. You have to translate your skill from SQL before you do this, you have to take you. You have to design your model on paper. The way you, the way, the same way that you do, you do, and SQL. Uh, instead of instead of using the syntax structure, you use the Django way. 
uh, if you want to use title, use the model chart for test field and so on. And in Django, we also have uh, uh, we ha we when we are not run in Django, when we are want to, we have specific comments that we can run. For that, this inside our project, there's a file type manage that py. Uh, for example, I want to migrate. What I want to do now is to take that model that I have created there and translate that to a SQL where we can insert our data inside of that model. I use this common Python manage and make migration. After that, it's gonna it's, it's gonna migrate the model that I have created there uh, using this junk, uh, using the Python system to SQL. Uh, after that, we have to migrate. Uh, using this comment, we, we, we're going to see all different kind of output in your command line prompt, where you're going to show if you have an error or it was successful. We're going to see different kind of models that b be building there. Uh, and uh, the Django REST framework, the Django, Framework provide for us uh, an admin panel. Uh, this admin panel, uh, when we can interact with this, this admin panel, uh, for example, I have created the basic model there. Uh, if you want to use that model to insert my data, I can use the admin panel. But before do that, I have to create a user. Uh, I. Here, I use Python manage.py, create a super user. Uh, it's going to prompt for, it's in your SIMD, it's going to prompt you for the username. Uh, you're going to type the username there. After that, after the username, it's going to ask you for your email address. You're going to type your email address. Then it's going to ask for the uh, password and repeat the password. Then it's going to prompt that you have created your super your super admin user. Uh, to, for the model that we have created to be accessible in the to be accessible in the admin, we should add that model to our admin. For doing that, we use uh, we go to the blog admin file. There we say class post eaten, uh, add, admin site register post item. Uh, before, before you use this, you ha you ha we need to import uh, the file there. Uh, I used from that models because it's inside of the same package. Uh, it's in the inside of the same director. Models import everything. I have imported all the, all the models uh, that I have created in my model file. Then what we have to do is create this basic structure to add the model. If you have different models, you have to repeat the same process to be available in your ad the admin panel where you can insert your data, kind of that. Uh, as you can see, I have assessed the admin, the admin area I have typed my password, uh, my username and password. Then I have, when I go to the local, when I run the Django framework using Python, uh, manage that run server, uh, I go to the local host, then I will show the project. Uh, I will show the project. I go to local host slash uh, 8000 slash admin. Uh, in the admin, you, you see we have the same structure of the thing that we have created there. For example, there you can insert your title, the title of the blog. I can insert a link URL of the, of the image that I'm going to use. Then we have the content, what is the blog is about. And then after that, we also have the category. So it's a foreign key where uh, we can use different kind of that. Uh, 
Before, uh, after that, we want to transform. What is the rest? Uh, what is the recipe? Uh, is basically uh, what we want to do is basically return all the all that data that we have we have created we have inserted in that model to a JSON file. That 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 we be able to use this information of for different clients. So, what I did because the Django. I have. I like to separate everything in small application. I have created uh, a, a new application called API. This uh, application is gonna handle everything related to API in the, our project. After that, we have the serializer. This is the most important phase, also the most important thing uh, of of our. <coughs> Of, of the process of creating this race API. Uh, what I did is saying, because the model is not in the same director as, as the serializer, what I did was importing from block that models, I import everything. After that, I create a class, and then I say, what I like to do is giving meaningful names for my class because this serialize is gonna is gonna serialize everything related to the post. What I say post serializer. This is the standard that I use uh, to create different kind of serialize. Then I create a metal <coughs> class here. This is the same way as the is the structure that you use the serialize. Then after that, what I did, you have to indicate which model is going to be serialized. Then I say model equal post. That was, that's going to be the model that is going to be serialized. Here in fields, you can specify, specify which fields you want to be serialized. For example, I want everything in my model. I just say, uh, qu qu uh, give me everything in the inside of that model. Uh, also, after we do that, we have to create a uh, view. For our mo we have to create a view. This view is going to be responsible to return for us the, the API. Mm. What I did, I, uh, I'm using a class view, not a function view. You can cr create an API using a function view also, but for me it's much because uh, as I say, I was the single developer uh, during that time. The time was running for me I using uh, the model view. Then what I did was, I, this is the basic stru structure. Query set, this is a, it's like, it's the same thing as they say when you use SQL, it's the same thing like uh, from, it's like, it's the same thing uh, as you say, select everything from model. What I did, like I post inside of post a, a model object that out, like it's gonna return ever everything that we have inserted in that model. Uh, then we have to set which class uh, we use to serialize. We, we say serialize class. We use this the serial class that we build in the file serialize.py. My, but before we d you do that, you have to import the, your serializer here. Like ap serializer import everything. And uh, we have to create a view. Uh, we have inside of our API uh, URL.py, we have the path. Uh, this, if you, uh, if you are familiar with Django, this is the new syntax of uh, how you can create a uh, URL. URL. Before that, we have uh, we have used the data model. The URL part. we have to put a certain kind of pattern there because this is Django two. I mean, Django two. We use this cool uh, way of do that. Uh, we see uh, posts. I create a. URL here, post, 
Then I set the view, views that post uh, the, the view that I've created there, because I, I have like a pattern, because is a po is a per as you can see, post list view is a part that I have th that I have created in in my project because it's a this is a class that leads with the view of the post uh, to make much clearer. I use this kind of synthesis so anyone can tell that this is a list of the po is a list of uh, is a view of post list. Then because this is a class, not a function uh, view. I, you have to specify as a view, as your view in your URL pattern. Here I am inside of the uh, the inside of the project, the URL file of the project. So, to make available this the URL that I have created there. Uh, I have to come here in, for example, we have this uh, Jose Machava. As you can see, I have the, 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 where the name of the folders and the name of the file that we have to do this. So, uh, uh, I forgot to, 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 to import, I forgot to show you, to take a picture of the import, but if you want to use this include to include that file from the API, you have to impo import this, that, this function called include. So basically what this function, uh, function do, includes the, uh, all the URLs from the API. I have created an handler here because if you have different APIs inside of your uh, of your application, you can assess like this uh, API. The name of the the name of the name for the blog, or you have something else. If you create like uh, you have uh, you have want to create the user, you can do users. You can you here you can include users. Then if you want to assess. In your browser on your uh, client P, you have to before you have to assess the link. Then API user uh, is a pattern that I have do to everything related to API uh, goes to the API application. <coughs> then what I have done. Then bef bef after. Uh, uh, Sorry. Uh, then, uh, as you can see, it's very, very simple to create an RSPI uh, with Django and using REST framework. We have done, we have built the REST API because, as, as the as the website say, Django is a uh, is a web framework for someone that want to build some application as quick as possible, and Django provide you for you. Then. Just follow those steps. Uh, you create your uh, API. Uh, it's provide the Django provide for you a beautiful structure where everything is separate. Uh, wherever project is, wherever project is, it's, is on on. We have different kind of thing. We have the models there. We have the URL. Everything structure uh, clean. The, after that, what you have to do is running your server to check if everything is working per perfectly. Uh, for running our server in the jungle, we use this common Python and manage that POI run servers. Uh, I will show uh, w when we assess the that in your when you use your browser and you assess uh, local loss, 8000 slash API blocks is gonna return for you this structure. This is basically, uh, this is basically, uh, uh, this is basically the same thing that uh, the Django provides for us, the, uh, the admin. For example, using this, this, using, the, uh, using here, you can add data also. 
You can add data easily. You can have different mo methods. For example, we are using the get methods here to get all the data. If you're not post, you can do also this. So you don't have to structure like if if the request is post, do that this. If the request is get, do this. Django handle everything for you. So you fork and solving your problem and build your application. I will show you. Uh, I'm using Windows. I will show you uh, the application running and and how we can add the data also. Uh, As you can see there, we ha I have the projects there. Uh, I have my projects there. Is everyone can see. I have the. I have the projects there here. I will highlight the project. I have the projects here, in Jose Machava. Then I have the virtual environment. Because I'm. Uh, uh, <coughs> To activate your virtual environment, uh, we use different comments according to your operating system. I'm using Windows here. It's different from li Linux. So I will go to virtual. So. No, it's not. It's not working. Yeah. But it's so big that I can't. <laughs> yes. Virtual environment. Then see this script. Uh, at phase. Uh, as you can see, we have at our virtual environment here. And I'm going to move back. We are inside. Yeah, if so. Yeah. yeah. Sit. Yeah, I will go to inside of my project. Choose my shower. Dear. As you can see, you ha we have everything that we have created there. We have the API, API application there. We have the blog, and we have the DB that you go inside there. I'm, I'm gonna use. I'm gonna start the, the my uh, editor and demonstrate to you all the structure there.
Can you see? Yeah, yeah. We have the the model here. We have the the model of our database, title, image, content, and everything. This is the m inside of blog. Uh, inside of we are inside of the blog, as you can see, and models. Then what? I have done. I came. I came to. Uh, I have created the API, the uh, API project. Uh, I have created the serializer here inside the uh, API serializer. Then I came to the view, as you can see. I've created the this after that I create a URL to assess our view. As I say, because it's not a function based is a class, you have to say that as view. Uh, then I have come to uh, I have forgot to mention that in uh, in your settings, in your settings, uh, in your settings, you have to add this to. You have to add the rest of framework uh, before you use it. So then you have to come and add the blo the application they have you have you create, and also the API I forgot. API. Then I have come to URL. Uh, URL, I I say to you to include some uh, URL from uh, another app. You have to import this function. Uh, what the function does? Just include all the URL from other application to the main URL. Uh, and also inside of the blog, where, where is inside of the blog in our admin, you can see that we have ads, we have registered all the modules to be available in our admin. Uh, what I'm gonna do now is running our project Python manage run server. I will as uh, I'm going to use my browser here Chrome waiting for running yeah we didn't find an arrow uh we are going to use this URL to assess the admin Because I, have, I am logging, I, <coughs> I read read to the admin. So inside the admin, we have these models. I have add something here. You, in admin, you can basically perform a crude, create, read, update, and delete uh, if from your model. We have I have created something here. This is Portuguese. I write in English and Portuguese also because Mozambique we speak Portuguese. Voltan uh, Raiz This is the title. It's in Portuguese. Uh, <coughs> then let's come here. We can add a post. I can can because in the admin I can perform the crude create, read, update, and delete. Now I'm uh, add something. Like I will add one of the my posts in m on media.
version of. This is one of the posts that I wrote. I was talking about like social food, social company that's using that are using Django in production, and the social uh, the case that I used was Instagram. I can copy the copy uh, cop image address, insert here, and we can add a new categories called uh, jungle. Save. As you save, you can see ha that we, ha we have created the article there. So I can access what I've created. Before that, I, here in we have this URL. I have to assess API. Then inside the API, I will tell which kind of uh, I, want, I want the post. Then post. I have the JSON here with all the post that is inside of my in my model. As you can see, we can perform uh, different kind of methods, uh, get, post, and if you wanna like see only, you can add also here using the, the, the form. Uh, this, uh, if you want to see raw data, yes. Yes. so this is the API. <coughs> this is the API have the uh, all the and then we can use this endpoint uh, from other clients our mobile applications or even inside of the the application and uh, we can hand here and thank you for being here. Um, since our time is fast spent, we'll just take two questions, short questions. Anyone with a question? Okay. Okay, no, actually, quick one. I just wanted to find out is the uh, Django REST framework built into Django or is it a third party module? It's a third part module. You have to install it to use all the everything that the Django REST framework provides for you to build an API. Any other question? Okay, if there is no question, just one more nice announcement. Uh, the Microsoft bar will be closing at the end of lunch, so note that. Thank you very much. The Microsoft Bar. Thank you.